So, I was cheating a little bit. I didn't come up with my own thing. If I can't say it any better than Audre Lorde did, I'll let me for survival. For those of us who live at the shoreline, standing upon the constant edges of decision, crucial and alone for those of us who cannot indulge, the passing dreams of choice, who love in doorways coming and going, the hours between dawns, looking inward and outward, at once before and after, seeking a now that can breed futures like bread in our children's mouths so their dreams when it reflects the death of ours. For those of us who were imprinted with fear, like a faint line in the center of our foreheads, learning to be afraid with our mother's milk, for by this weapon, this illusion of some safety to be found, the heavy-footed hoped to silence us, for all of us, this instant in this triumph, we were never meant to survive. And when the sun rises, we are afraid it might not remain. When the sun sets, we are afraid it might not rise in the morning. When our stomachs are full, we are afraid of indigestion. When our stomachs are empty, we are afraid we may never eat again. When we are loved, we were afraid love will vanish. When we are alone, we were afraid love will never return. And when we speak, we were afraid our words will not be heard nor welcomed, but when we are silent, we are still afraid. So it is better to speak, remembering we were never meant to survive. And for all of the joy that we have tomorrow, because tomorrow's a day off, we get to celebrate this parade is also a mark of, of being. And by being, we are committing an act of, oh hell, help me. Resistance. Thank you. Resistance. You know, when I come here, I feel like this is my community. I never had that feeling in my life by religion I was born with, or nationality that I was born with. But this is the first time I ever felt like I had my own community. That's why I came up here, it's just, for me, it's just a good time. This is great. I, I feel like I'm with, uh, I'm sure they're my closest friends, you know, this is awesome. And uh, another thing I want to say real quick, when you talk about captivity, one of the things I thought about, because I, I did live in a nursing home for six years, 
So I know whenever anybody talks about captivity, I know exactly what it's like. Um, and, and no matter what happens to me in the future, I've got two years, I've been out for two and a half years, and I'm not saying this in a morbid way, but when I, when I die in this world, I'm going to die in freedom. And that is all the difference in the world. That's all it is. People are not asking for much in this world, are we? Sometimes you just want to pat on the back and say, hey, good job. I mean, people are never asking for much. We're not asking for much. You know, let's talk about Springfield for just one moment. We're not asking for much. They ain't making something we're asking for the world, right? We're just trying to break even, aren't we? I, I just wanted to throw that out there, you know? But um, I know what captivity's like, and I know what freedom's like. It's, it's worth dying for freedom, that's for sure.